Hi, my name is Larissa Golanchi and I'm a Crow researcher from Northern Arizona University. Today, I'm here to guide you through running a Python script that helps with de-identifying student text. This video is part of a series our team has created that helps you build your own corpus. For the whole series, please visit our YouTube channel. In this script, we use regular expressions that match strings that look like names, emails, and student IDs that occur before the main body of the text. Okay, let's run the script now. Okay, so now we are ready to actually run the script on our computer. So if you are on a Windows, we have to open our terminal. In order to do that, we'll search for PowerShell here on the search box. So we'll do PowerShell and you can see that it already appears. I'll press enter and it will open for me. So you can see that this line indicates the path where PowerShell is saved. And right now what we have to do is to navigate to the folder where you save your Chiabata folder. So in my case, I save my Chiabata in my downloads, so I have to navigate to my downloads. So the way I do this is by pressing CD to change directory, then space, and then I type download, and I press enter. And you can see that the path here has changed because now I am inside my downloads. And then I can do ls, which lists the files that I have inside my download. And you can see here that the only thing I have is my Chiabata. So what I'm doing now is to navigate inside my Chiabata. So I'm going to do again, cd space. And you can either type Chiabata master or you can do just the first letters and then tab and it should autocomplete if this folder exists. And then you press enter, and you can see here that I am inside my Chiabata folder. Now, if I do LS again, it will show everything that I have inside my Chiabata folder, and you can see here the automatic the identification, the cleaning folder, and then how to videos. Here in this video, we're focused on the automatic the identification. So I want to navigate inside that folder again. So I'm going to do CD, so change directory, space, and I'll start typing automatic and press tab and it auto completes. Okay, so now if I do LS again, I can see everything that is inside my automatic de-identification folder. And you can see that we have files with headers, the Chiabata DID script and some other files. What the first thing that we have to do before we run the script is to check how many files there are in the folder files with headers. We're doing this to make sure that the number of files we have right now is the same number of files we'll have after running the script. So in order to count the number of files we have right now, we will run the following command. We'll do ls, and then the folder that we want to count the files, so files with header, and I can do tab and it auto completes. Then inside my files with headers folders, there are four different subfolders. In order to account for those, what I'm going to do is a backward slash, and I'm going to do backward slash two asterisks for each subfolder that I have. So four times I'm gonna do this. And if you're using PowerShell, you can see that it shows to you uh, the level of folders you are right now. Because if I do backward slash again, it only shows me the TXT files, which is exactly what I want to count. So I'm going to do just one asterisk now, and then period TXT. This means that I'm counting all the TXT files that are inside this four different subfolders that are inside files with headers. Then I'm going to do pipe, and I'm going to type measure dash object. Oops, I missed that there. And you can see that it gives me the option to autocomplete. And then I do dash again, line. Now what we're doing is counting the number of TXT files we have inside files with headers. So originally we had 40 different files and that's the number we want to get. 
So if I press enter, I have 40 here, which means that there are really 40 different files inside my files with headers folks. Now, I just want to uh, make you notice this, that if you're using this code in your data, you probably have to adapt this line here because remember two asterisk means e means going inside each different subfolder. So if you're running on your own data, you have to count the number of subfolders you have and change the number of two asterisk and backward slash you're using. Also remember that one asterisk and then period txt means indicates that we want to count all the files that have the txt extension. Okay, so now we're finally ready to run the script. But first, make, let's make sure that we're still inside the automatic de-identification folder. So if you look here at my path, you can see that I am, it shows here automatic de-identification inside Giovata. So we are in the right place. The second thing we need to do is check if, it, if the script's still there. So we're doing ls and you can see everything still the same. We have files with header folders and the Chiabara DID script. So now to run the script, what we're going to do is type Python space and then the name of the script, which is Chiabara DID. And you can just press tab and it auto completes. And then we're doing space again, two dashes, and we're going to type directory. So the two dashes mean that we're adding a flag and then indicating which directory we want to de-identify. And then we put equal in the directory we want to de-identify is files with headers. Now, everything is ready. All we have to do is press enter. And you can see that the script will tell me processing file and the name of the file. If the script worked, it should have created a new folder called the identified. In order for us to check, we can do ls, and we can see that now we have this new folder here, the identified. We also have files with headers like before, but we have a new folder. Now we need to actually check if this the identified folder has 40 different files. So we're going to use almost the same code as we did before. So we're doing ls and then de-identified the folder and we're adding different asterisks, two asterisks for each subfolder. So before we had four different subfolders and because we created this new directory called the identified, now we have five different subfolders. So we need to do two asterisk and a backward slash five times. And if, again, if you're using PowerShell, you'll know the time to stop when the TXT files appear here. And then remember to do one asterisk and TXT, period TXT, in order to count the number of all TXT files. And then pipe, again, measure object, yes and then space dash line. And if I press enter, we should have 40 files. Okay, we still have 40 files. Yay, so it says 40, this was a success and we de-identified our files. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments please visit our website, which is writecrow.org to learn more about the corpus and repository of writing, including links to other writing research resources that we have built. Thanks again for watching this video.